What's going on guys, it's Rizky here, and today we are on Quattro Kalinas in a tree stand on a freaking castle. I guess you could call this a castle, it's like a little miniature castle. So today what we're going to be doing on this freaking thing is sniping some animals off of this freaking thing. It's going to be a fun little challenge today. Hopefully we can have some nicer animals come out here, and I still need to change my collars over. Hopefully we can get a chance to do that today. And it looks like our first victim today is going to be a little bit smaller roe deer. Well, a very small roe deer, I should say. But, uh, you know what? Let's pop this guy with the Mosin on the roe. Oh, is he going to stop? No, he's not. That'll lay him out. What's that? Who goes there? Oh, it's a rabbit. Or a hare. I don't see him in those, those weeds there, those sun sunflowers. All right. Well... We got one freaking target down. Hopefully we can have some nice things come out today. That way this video is a little bit interesting. Or at least have some interesting animals to kill. If not, then we're just going to be, pop be popping anything. Because this is all for fun here. We're literally just in a freaking tree tripod stand on a tower. Like, would you do this IRL? I mean, I would. I would definitely set up your IRL. That would be sick. Uh, unfortunately, I think over there is a little bit too far for our render distance. That's 500 meters. Uh, so I don't think we're going to be able to see anything over there. But... We have these whole, this whole field here, roe deer, red deer, wild boar, uh, and hare, I know for sure, like to come out here. So we got plenty of opportunities to get things. So yeah, let's uh, try and pop a few more animals. We're going to try and kill a few things at a time, and then we'll go claim them, come back in the stand, come back, kill a few more things, and just keep on doing the same thing. So yeah, sit back and enjoy. And one thing I do want to say really quick, if you guys have not checked out my merchandise store, then make sure you do that. I'll have a link in the description because I have some merch and I haven't really told you guys about it that often. But yeah, if you want to help support the channel in that way, then go for it. There's merch down there in the description. And uh, any little purchases are very greatly appreciated. And you know what? For fun, I want to, I want to do this. <laughs> Just smoked her. Just smoked her. I need to go get my freaking 22. I'm going to go grab one. So I can pop these rabbits or these hares. These hares out of the tripod stand. I think that'd be pretty fun. Oh, hey there, buddy. What you up to today? <laughs> All right. Well, we got the 6.5 on us. Wait, what was that distance? Let's see one more time here. Uh, 265. Let's see if we can clip like a single lung or something. You know, I'm going to swap over to the Argus really quick too. There we go. If only it was that easy to swap scopes in real life. All right, let's see here. I should do it. Maybe. Got a rabbit over here. Uh, I don't, did we get him? I swear we got him. We'll go over there and check blood soon. But that's three animals, hopefully. Hopefully three. But we know two down for sure. We got a, a roe deer out here somewhere in the field. There he is right there. And then we got another one somewhere out to our left. And then hopefully we got that hog down. I don't know if we hit him. I'm, I feel like we should have. Probably just going to be let down by the 6.5 again. And, and hey. Hey, you. Damn it, he went out of freaking render distance. I didn't think he would flee from that. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. That one looks like he's more in our range, or she. Let's see here. About 150-ish, that's not what I need. There you go. What? There we go. Shot over it. She was probably about 140 about then, right then. Oh, just a hair over her. Literally, a hair, get it? Ha, <laughs> ha. Because it's a hair. <sighs> Okay, let's go claim some stuff, because I don't want to shoot too many things and then, uh, like, lose track of everything, you know what I mean? So let's go claim some things. I think let's run over here and grab this hair. And hey, quick tip. If you are new to the Call of the Wild, and uh, if you are living under a rock, consecutive harvest does not matter anymore. It does not affect the score of an animal. It only affects the amount of money and XP you get off of the animal. So don't worry about going after consecs anymore, and don't worry about if your consec is low it does not affect anything here's little hair friend it's a common female 771 apparently the females actually are the only ones that can be diamonds i did not know that you guys told me that a while back said that the hair females are the only ones that can be diamond the males can't so i guess you learn something new every day oh i see some pigs they're still over there actually oh there's the one we shot you know what? let's finish them off real quick i don't want to I have to chase this guy forever. That'll finish him. All right, let's grab our roe deer female. We absolutely slocked her right there in the liver and the right lung. The Mosin is just, the freaking roe deer are just made of like paper mache or something like that. 
and the Mosin literally just rips them in half. Why don't you go anywhere? Let's uh, let's teleport back up in here because I want to still make this video of me mostly shooting animals out of the tripod stand up here instead of on the ground. We'll go grab that hog soon. Unfortunately, we made a bad shot on it the first time, but we finished it off there. I'm pretty sure that's definitely going to put it down. Here we go. Let's see if we can bring this roe deer down. He's actually going to be right next to our other one, which is somewhere over here. Right there. Yeah, let's see here. Boom. He ain't going nowhere. Took a couple steps, and he's gone. Boom. Double lung shot. And boom. Single lung shot. See what I mean? They're made of paper mache, dude. Literally just like grazed the freaking lung there, and he just didn't go anywhere. Ran a couple feet and then dropped. But let's see if we can find this hog now. He should be down. Put two shots into him with the 6.5. I'm sure the first one wasn't very well. Let's go see if we can check out our shot placement. All right, let's see. Where we hit him? Oh, okay. Wow. We shot him way too freaking high. Ah, okay. Okay. I, I don't know why. Yeah, you're right. That was kind of stupid of me. I raised up way too much for 265 and I was zeroed for 300. That was my part. But the second shot, we got him on the, the trot there on the walk in the liver. Okay, that was kind of a fail on my part but anyways let's head back up into our sniper's nest here and see if anything else can come out today all right guys so i got a little bit of a challenge here and this is day two of recording this and i actually just woke up so if i sound a little uh groggy or whatever then then that's why so i've been sitting up here for probably 15 20 minutes now and i haven't really had too much luck at the moment I'm definitely still going to sit up here for quite some time. I really hope we can get something nice. Like, we haven't really got anything nice nice. Uh, I want to hopefully get, like, a, a nice gold or something while we're up here. But this isn't really how you're supposed to play this game. You're not really supposed to just sit here and let things come to you. You're supposed to go to the need zones. So, it's kind of obvious why we're not really getting anything. But I had a little challenge if I can find the other one. So, we got one female roe deer there. And then I had another one out here somewhere. If she's still there, then we'll try and pop both of them at the same time well not the same time but boom and then boom you know what i mean let's see if we can find her oh hi how are you you know what you know what i think i have an idea oh that rabbit's out of my view now dang it okay i'm gonna sit back for a minute see if i can get this rabbit to come back out and maybe we'll try and pop this road here and then get the rabbit oh there it is boom oh my god she's actually running off from that what the hell? There we go. We hit her finally. <laughs> I'm probably going to edit out all those other shots that I missed. I missed them by just like a hair, though. I don't think our rabbit friend's there anymore. Oh, well. That is a pretty long shot there. 393 meters. Let's kind of get like an accurate range here. 385 ish okay so what can we see with this scope not a lot let's go over here to our argus that way we can get a little bit higher zoom let's see if i'm actually a castle sniper please let me hit this the chris kyle gods let's see if i can do this and we hit him we hit him we sure did on that did we hit him very well i don't think so <laughs> i don't think we hit him very well all right, we got two wild boar out there. I want to see if we can get both of them to kind of turn for us. I want to see if they can turn for us, give us a little bit better shot. That way we can try and pop both of them at the same time, and then we'll go claim everybody. And that'll be it for this hunt. I'm running out of breath. I don't think we hit it. <laughs> we dropped the first one. We missed the last one. Dang it. Ah, I think we missed the, the second one by inches, man. We missed them by just freaking inches. But we did smoke that one over there. So that's good. Let's um sit back for a little bit longer because I do want to get one more animal down. Oh, you know what? Oh, we smoked it out there. Oh my gosh, that was a far shot. We hit it. I don't know if we smoked it, but we hit it. Hell yeah. And we we got this guy in the skull, in the upper neck. We didn't even hit his brain. We missed his brain, apparently. Yeah, we missed his brain by just a little tiny bit. We shot just a tad bit too low. Literally like an inch. And luckily, we hit his neck. So we got real lucky on that. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a four-wheeler. That'd be so much easier than just running around here. And here's our female roe deer. I went over there and searched for the other hog that we shot, like 400 meters away or whatever that was, and I just couldn't find it. Do we seriously shoot in between the lungs? Are you kidding me? How, how unlucky am I? Wow, okay, well, it looks like our roe deer has died. I'm gonna go over here and look for this guy real quick if I can't freaking find him. I, his hunt pressure literally like just popped up not too long ago. So he probably ran a long ways. Oh no, he's right here. Okay, cool. I didn't run that far. Let's see what kind of shot we made. And we got him um, in the flesh. Oh, okay. Well, we shot too high. That was 393. I remember I raised up a good bit. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see anything else like this, uh, like Castle Sniper or Bridge Sniper or anything, let me know because I, I really do like doing these, sitting up on a mountain or a, a castle or anything, just shooting anything that comes by that's like 200 meters out. It's really fun. It's good, uh, like long range practice but anyways thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already it helps me out a bunch and i'll see you in the next one later